next image from an incredible uh, adventure here to the woodlands. You know, the senses have been really, 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 you know, awoken uh, this morning. The smell is incredible. The sounds of the birds that are around me are fantastic. The sights that I'm able to see is great. And then the last thing is obviously the touch and that's being out and about and such like that. So yeah. I've now arrived down close enough to the river that runs down the side of this woodland and as the path is coming down here I notice the path is splitting off in two different directions and I've got three again trees in front of me so what I decided to do is to position the camera in a way that I can make out the tree trees um, and then with the pathway coming around either side I may not uh, even include much of the pathway because with the um, bank of flowers that are here. I think that's a really nice shot. It's up close. It's not showing much more than that But I'll also take that shot as well just to be able to show both pathways coming around either side The reason why is because I want to exclude aspects that don't add to the image, which is unfortunately the river um, There's a tree that's there. It's quite bare. So it's you know, not nice within the image So I end up kind of removing that from the shot and then what I'd also do is where you are there, when I was framing up that shot, I noticed that you kind of have a line that goes this way, a line that goes that way, a line that comes up this way. So probably end up taking a shot as well from where you are as well uh, to see how that turns out. But yeah, I'm just going to wait now for hopefully a bit of light to come along and just light up these flowers and give them that bit of a lift. And uh, yeah, I'll show you this shot next. It is taking me a lot longer actually than I had planned to get through this woods because every time I turn a corner it reveals something different. And like I was close to the river there a moment ago, I said I'd head back because there's one composition in particular that I want to get to. And again, I'm stopped in my tracks here because as you can see with this pathway that's leading right beside the river, it kind of comes underneath a canopy. And I'm on a different path than what I would have come down this way. And it's a whole different set of compositions that have revealed themselves. But I'm butted up here right next to the tree because I want to be able to utilize this pathway coming from the left hand side of the frame and then you've got this beautiful bank of flowers that's on the right hand side. Don't think I'm going to get uh, much of the river in, maybe I will, I don't know, um, I'll play around with it but for me the main thing here is just this beautiful bank of these flowers coming along and this pathway as well meandering its way through. Uh, settings at the moment, now I'm back to f11, I'm at one eighth of a second. Um, and because I'm under the canopy as well here, I don't really have any harsh light to be able to deal with. So I think this is a nice shot. I'll fine tune it anyway and see how I get on with it. Give you a look at this and we'll hopefully be able to continue back up to the main composition that I want to get from today. Wow, this place gets better and better. Every corner I turn, I get new compositions. And this is one now where I'm almost right back where I began. So just over this wall here is where I began this morning. And I've taken a walk all the way down around here. And I've completely missed this avenue. As you can see, if I step out of the way here, 
that curves all the way through and it's lined either side by these beautiful wild garlic. The smell here is absolutely incredible. I love it, it's great, it really kind of clears out your sinuses as well, so really I think beneficial to be able to get out in these. But um, right now I've come down a bit further from the main pathway because this big tree here was kind of imposing on the image, it was creating too much on the right hand side. Whereas by coming down here now what I have is some beautiful ferns that are lining either side. I've got some holly trees that are there and it kind of goes off into the distance as well then with this multitude of trees that are there also. Now what I am doing is just waiting and I'm going to wait to see if I can get a bit of light just to light up the subjects here in front of me. It probably won't light it all up, it'll only light up a small bit of it but nonetheless I still think that might be nice within the image. I've gotten one here now at the moment without any light so I'll wait now to see if I can get that light and yeah unbelievable the amount of different scenes that look nice anyway to me here again as always I won't know if they're going to look like great images until I get them back to base on the computer but even on the back of the camera they definitely look nice to me I think you know the, the colors that are there as well are really really nice so yeah show you this one here hopefully I'll get the light and then we'll continue on like I said there's one composition that I want to get to uh, so yeah I'll aim for that hopefully next if I don't get distracted along the way So I finally reached the composition that I had intended to come take photographs of, which is this lovely avenue that comes through here. It's lined either side by the wild garlic and you've got a tree that's fallen over the path. And I really like the way the light will hit that tree. Now, at the moment, I have no light. When I was here yesterday, I had some beautiful light that was shining on it and it immediately jumped out at me as a potential image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of shots in here without the light and fine tune my composition. Again, I'm at a head height here, well, almost, but I am thinking that if I drop down, I will create better depth within the image. The only challenge is that you can then see onwards within the path I think when you go lower so I may end up you know moving to the left like I am right now or moving to the right so that I can try and eliminate that in the far background within the image it'll need to be a fine-tuned composition I think but it also definitely needs the light now I can see above me here uh, there are a couple of gaps so hopefully the way the clouds are moving I might get a brief moment anyway but I'm going to wait around and hope fingers crossed that I do get the light because when it comes down here and lifts this there's a big gap you see over here which will allow the light to be able to uh, shine in directly so it should light up a lot of the scene but yeah I'm going to fine tune this one anyway here take it from this side I'm also going to go to the other side let's see how we get on this side anyway first and then I'll check back in after I get that image I'll give you a look at it now and then I'll meet you on the other side for a completely different viewpoint of this stunning scene.
unfortunately I haven't managed to get any light. I've waited around for maybe around 45 minutes and it does look as if the cloud in the direction it's coming is getting darker. Um, a couple of other things as well that I noticed is I got down low but I didn't really like the images because you couldn't see the tops of the flower heads on the wild garlic. But I went into one of the kind of side pathways that you have to walk along here. This, it's a public path, but it's full of muddy areas. So that over time, there are areas that people have kind of walked up on a bank and created a path. And I went into one of those paths with um, get wild garlic either side. And I managed to get down low within that couple of bluebells, a couple of ferns, and then with this impressive fallen tree as well, kind of framing the image at the top. Now coming to the other side, um, I've noticed that with the gap that I mentioned that allows the light to come through, there's actually a much better light, as you can probably see here, lighting up the tree from this side. So I've come back as far as I need, to, as I can come back. There's a branch here um, which is going to get in the frame, so I've kind of eliminated that by putting the camera as close as I can to the border of that coming into the frame. And then I'm lining it up again with this avenue of the wild garlic either side. Now the wild garlic is more abundant on the other side, but this tree here is silhouetted in the last image. You can actually see the textures and the detail within the image as well also here. Going for a uh, landscape orientation for the shot, uh, I think it works because you get that avenue. But again, I'll try as always a portrait as well, just to have it. And settings at the moment now, I'm actually uh, on F11 and I'm on a third of a second and that's one stop underexposed. So I think this will probably be my last image from an incredible uh, adventure here to the woodlands. You know, the senses have been really, 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 you know, awoken uh, this morning. The smell is incredible. The sounds of the birds that are around me are fantastic. The sights that I'm able to see is great. And then the last thing is obviously the touch and that's being out and about and such like that. So yeah, really kind of a great morning. Hope you've enjoyed coming along on this adventure with me. Different to normal. I've never gone to photograph these before. I hope I've done the area uh, justice. I'm going to take a couple more shots here now before I finish up. But thank you as always for watching. If it's your first time on the channel, I'd really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button. Give the like button a, a tick. It really helps in the algorithm so more people can see my uh, work. And until the next time, schlange voll.